scramble and now underway in San Jose to keep a program going that brings hot food to the homeless. As Lemmer Mayor reports, the pandemic era program's funding is due to run out at the end of this month. Len. Well, this particular program brought hot meals to people who live in some of the hardest to reach areas, areas without other programs. Now, all of those people could go hungry. The hardship of living on the streets is made just a bit more bearable when volunteers come into the camps to deliver hot, freshly prepared meals. Today we have meatball, rice, egg, and uh, mixed vegetable. Cindy Nguyen and her son Stephen of the Hello Angels Foundation picked up food prepared by Team San Jose and spent the afternoon giving it away. It is very important for the uh, unhoused people to get food from this um, program right here. Because right now, everything is very high for us, especially food. But Nguyen's group and another called the Unhoused Response Group, which used the program, just found out that funding for it runs out at the end of June. It was part of the Federal CARES Act that is now winding down. It's federal money that was for the pandemic during the emergency. But homelessness was the original emergency. And somebody somewhere let this happen without warning us, without saying, hey, we need to find another source of money. Sean Cartwright says the looming cutoff gives advocates little time to find donors to pick up the slack. She hopes the city and or county can step in to keep the program going, which costs less than a million dollars a year to feed people like Louise. And then finally when somebody drops some food off, I don't like it per se what's in there, but I eat it because I'm starving. Distributing food also gives advocates an opportunity to help the unhoused in other ways, such as monitoring health care. They hope to keep the program going because for some, there's no such thing as regular meals. In San Jose, Len Ramitas, KPIX 5.